I'm so lucky because you are the most positive person I know. So you will always turn the negative into positive. Whenever I'm having a horrible day or well, a horrible moment, you just always flip it on its head. On those days when you can't get yourself out of a funk and your brain is like short circuiting and you just want to push everyone away. Like I wanted to push you away. I wanted to leave work. There were some days I just didn't want to get up and leave the house. You are not going to change that, that hour, two hours, three hours. So you've got to provide a safe place where you don't feel threatened. If you're feeling in a negative space, if I fight back against that, then it's which not Which you never did, which you never did. Because I wanted no, to fight. There was days where I was like trying to get a rise out of you. I wanted to fight. Like I remember, you know, coming back from a few date nights and we've been having a really great time and like really good vibes, happiness. And then all of a sudden, like we, I just turn into an absolute like train wreck. Like I would just that, get that's so the, angry and like just want to fight. What did you think was wrong with me? What did you think was happening? What's the point of understanding everything? And what's the point of contextualizing it in terms of, you know, life is a long journey for those of us that can carry on through it. And when you kind of are clear about that in your head, you just got to understand or try to understand and rationalize and support and empathize and hope that within that, the relationship continues to move in a positive way. And I think that's what we've done really well. Sorry if you were expecting some big dramatic. No, I'm just curious how you dealt, like how you still deal with it because it's still not, it's still a moving target, isn't it? It's not like I'm fixed now. I'm of a generation where I can't really ask my dad, how did you deal with it? Because my mum probably didn't deal with it in the same way. You have to just sort of like be patient and you have to sort of think it through. And, and there's a huge amount of stigma in terms of all of these bad things that are part of it. But you become wiser, you become more kind of cognizant of things, you become more empathetic, you become much more aware of yourself as a human. Absolutely. Well, that's all to be celebrated. Yeah, absolutely. And I think clearly I'm hugely proud of your sort of ability to deal with what is a relentless barrage that is quite unpredictable about when it arrives and when it doesn't arrive. I also think the work that you do to sort of support other women is tremendous. And I think that that is something that clearly, you know, can't stop because you're a brilliant communicator in the way of being able to sort of make people realise it's a totally normal thing to be going through. That is something that you have got to keep up and you've got to keep driving forwards. I, I mean, have done who... that without you though. I couldn't have done that without you being there to support me because you have been there to support me. You've made me push on through and given well, me what... that confidence to... Well, that's what a relationship is, isn't it? I mean, that's yeah, like support... Yeah, but unfortunately and... not everybody has that support network. You don't win a football game with a great centre forward. You've got to have a team. And I think our we are a team. We are a team that works really well together. Football analogy was terrible. If you try to communicate with me, do not use football analogies. <laughs>